What's going on, folks? Clutch here, and welcome back to Clover Creek. We're on Clover Creek, our uh, case farm. Well, it's turned into our case farm. I was just putting some stuff away in our brand new shed we put down here. Uh, this is not a bad shed. This brings back some old feelings, this shed. You'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I've got that case harvester we leased or borrowed from our dealership. I've got to just store it down here for now. we got the header as well. Just down here, I'm kind of trying to push stuff, everything I can down into the shed and move, make some space on our farm. Things are good up top, guys. We're uh, we're looking pretty good. We're getting ready to kind of clean everything up around here. If I scroll on up top here, let me show you. Get out of the way, birds. Uh, we've got a few things. We've got a new shed over here I've put up just to store some odds and ends. Um, speaking of which, I do need to get into that quonset. This quonset here is just a disaster. I was trying to clean stuff up in here earlier and uh, <laughs> it doesn't done much. You can just see equipment kind of scattered about inside. Anyways, what are we doing today? Well, we're shipping. We've got a new order going to our dealership. Um, we gotta go for a drive down to the case dealership. And I think I'm gonna be making a drive to go pick up some new harvesters for our dealership, guys. So I think we're good up here. Let's jump in the truck. We'll head down to the dealership, finalize that order, and then go pick things up. Let's do this thing, pitter patter. All right, so dealership is pretty much good to go. We had this built uh, not too long ago, actually. You guys might remember that. Everything is looking pretty good. We got the old farm all sitting on front still, but all the equipment's here. We just need to get those combines in, and you know what? Doors are pretty much open. We just need I need to get some staff for uh, the center, the, uh, the mechanic area over there, the, the build center down at the far end, just in case for warranty stuff, of course. We need to get some staff brought out here. You know, the usual, but we're getting the combines today. I've got three combines on order. I, I'm gonna go give him a hand as well. We're gonna be driving, take a take a rig ourselves. So I told them if I could save a little bit of cash by me coming out and helping out, hey, I'm game. Plus, I get to drive a nice big rig for the day, so why not? So we're gonna go pick up our combines. What they have down there is very similar, actually, to what we have here. It's just on the other side of the county. Uh, it's basically where they have all the parts shipped in for the most part, and they put the accessories on the tractors, the, to the wheels, if it's the if the, the crow crops, if it's wides, whatever it might be. They, uh, they decide what they want to put on it there. Uh, they're not built there or anything. It's just basically a final assembly plant and then a warranty center as well. So that's kind of nice, which is basically what we're going to end up doing with our shop once we get up and fully operational here. So everything is good to go. We need to jump in the truck, head across the county, go pick up these combines, guys. This should be a good day. Let's go do some trucking. All right, just pull into the depot. Quick drive. Pull on in. Let's see. Uh, not too much down here. It's uh, looking like they got some stuff. They got, oh, got a little bit of weight scale over here. And everything. Oh, there we are. Everything's over on the left, it looks like. Yeah, a lot of equipment back over there. There we go. Oh, there's our rigs. Sweet. All right. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to put the truck kind of in behind everything here. And we'll take a look at see what we got here. Holy shnikes. Yes. Look at all this. Look at the combines. Oh, man. All right. Perfect. So let me just put this over. Uh, we'll put it in front of the bays for now. Just to keep it out of the way. There's nothing else. They got they got lots of bays are open. We'll leave this right here. All right. Oh, nice 340. Case dealership. Perfect. Um, So what do we got here? We got three combines. Uh, I've got a, what is this? An 8240. We got some row crops. It looks like on us. We got some twins up front. Nice. All right. That looks good. That was the, uh, I remember ordering that one with the crops, the row crops on it. Uh, And we've got... Oh, well, there we go. We got a 7240 with the uh, the track system. Okay. And there was one I ordered with... Oh, man. He said he wanted to put some big balloons on it, basically. Let's see if I can jump over top this hitch. Oh, man. Oh, there she is. And look at the bin up top on that bad boy. Oh, <laughs> the 9240, of course. And look at those. Oh, yeah. Those are, um, those are beefy. Is that even clearing? Look at the clearance on the cab. There's barely any clearance. They're so big. That's going to cause some issues. Holy. Yeah, that's barely clear on the cab. Um, oh, he's got some flags up on it, of course. Nice touch. Nice touch, my friend. Nice touch. We'll jump across here. Wow. Those are... That's some serious wheels on this thing. Um, I'm a little concerned that uh, it's going to hit the cab, but... Uh, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. If we have to make some adjustments to the cab, we'll make some adjustments, I suppose. But look at the size of that bin up there. It says it's the biggest one. I think he said it was about 20,000 liters. Uh, that's a massive bin up on top, guys. I think the other two we went with uh, folding bins because that tends to be the best bet for most of our farms around here because they need to have the clearance issue. But that one there, we decided to go big. And, oh, yeah, that's massive. Um, what do we got for trucks? These are some massive trailers. Look at these things. How many axles do we have here? Five and 
five, something like that. Um, what do we got up top here? Oh, some big Kenworths. Nice. Some heavy hauls. Look at those. Those are nice. Nice big Kenworths. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to driving one of these guys. Uh, I mean, I'm not really a big fan of the, the fenders on them, but hey, if you got to make your truck look nice, they definitely need the fenders since we're towing this type of a trailer, I suppose, but not really my style, but still, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. At least it's not like a flashy red or anything like that. Nice, nice dull gray. I'll take that. Anyways, it's going to be a good drive. We've got about an hour drive. Should be all right. Uh, let me go inside here. We'll finalize all this paperwork. I'll sign everything off. I've got to go up there and then come back and pick up my truck anyways. i got a long day ahead of me. Let's get this over with. All right, we're all situated. I got a couple friends driving. Uh, they gave me some drivers here that work down here. Matilda and Gertrude? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Are they, they good to go? Oh, yep. Truck's running. Hey, you good? All right. Um, you're good, too? All right. Sounds good. Um, they're giving me the lead truck. Oh, and I get the big guy. All right. That sounds like a bad idea. They, they don't know who I am, do they? Oh, it's already running. They started it for me. That was nice of them. All right, let's get our lights on. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Go, go, go. No, oh, man. That is a lot of harvester behind me. Pull this out nice and easy, like. Nice and easy. Just come around here nice and slow. We're in no rush. Like I said, we've got the rest of the afternoon here. We'll just take her nice and easy get on out of here uh and then uh, back towards town got a bit of a truck ahead of us guys but yeah we got time i'm in no rush i don't want to damage any of these of course because that just comes out of my bottom line look at the size of that combine that thing like this is a wide deck back there and it's still barely on it that is crazy oh here comes matilda look at she's got the gas down oh easy easy all right perfect <laughs> all right perfect we'll get on the highway start heading to town like i said we gotta get across the county tonight let's go so far so good we're just pulling up into town here pretty close onto our side uh just coming in now i'm loving the look of these combines i debated for a bit on going with a 1660 that's one model we didn't go with we went with the bigger ones i decided not to go with smaller combines i don't know if we're gonna need a i don't know maybe we'll get a smaller one at some point just to put on them on the uh, the lot I haven't decided if we we're going to need that or not, but we went with the, all the larger, the newer models. Whoa, watch out for that. What was that back there? Is there a deer on the road? <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. We're getting close to town, folks. I'm starting to see yeah, the fuel station just on the outskirts of town here coming up. So we'll be going past that and then heading to town. I've had to call ahead to a local tow company just to make sure they've got roads blocked off for us at the main intersection. It's going to be a tight, tight turn. That's the only real issue I'm going to have, folks, is there's one turn through town I need to get through. Uh, it's the only real way to go. So I got to go right through the middle of town. And then once we hit that 90 in town, they should have it all blocked off. So I shouldn't have to worry about traffic there at least. Speaking of which, here comes our turn right here. There's the fuel station. We're going to be heading to town from here. Perfect. Looks like we didn't even lose anybody. I'm just going to wait for this one car to pass here because this, I need to come out and take both lanes. Hurry up. Yep, get going. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And we'll wrap her all the way around here, folks. That's going to be a tight turn. All right, look at that. I think we got disposable stop signs at that corner. I think we might have taken one out. We're just going to pull ahead nice and slow and easy. Make sure everyone gets around this corner okay. It's a bit of a fight, that one. All right, that was last corner. Into town we go. We just radioed ahead right now. And uh, I've got heavy records hitting on that corner off. They should see us coming over the top of the hill here. Once we get, I think, well, once we get this, this ridge right in front of us, guys, that's when they're going to shut everything down for us. One corner. That's it. It's going to be the toughest corner we'll have to make. But we've got three really wide loads coming right through the middle of town here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a fight to get through it all. All right. I can see the heavy wrecker actually right ahead of us there. They've already got the road blocked off. Perfect. How's everyone doing behind us? We got three rigs excellent three of us two behind everybody's looking looking good keeping a nice tight tight formation here as we come into town we'll take her nice and easy as we come in folks all right oh look at this we've got they brought somebody else so just for warning right on the right here nice nice and slow nice and slow let's ease it down here because this is gonna we're gonna swing real wide through here folks this i've got to make sure we get right 
I do not want to miss this corner. Um, and hit that telephone pole and knock power out to the town. Yeah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be smart. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. Let's cut her over now. Holy, that's that's a wide load. Nice. So now let's see how the rest of the crew does. Matilda, Gertrude, it's up to you. Don't screw this up. <laughs> oh man, uh, everyone's coming out to watch. Even look at this, everyone's coming on out. Oh, maybe they're scared. They're going back inside. They see Matilda coming. No traffic coming. Let's make sure she's okay back there. Come on, Matilda. You can do it. Nice and easy, like. Nice and easy. You're good to go. Oh, no. I think, uh, I think Gertrude... I think she screwed it up, guys. Yeah, she definitely did. Hang on a sec. Let me, let me get her on the radio here and see what's going on. Yep, she says she's jammed up on the power pole. Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks for the help. Um... Let's go all the way back here. Such a walk. Look how far back we gotta go. Where is she? Oh man. Let's make a let's go for a run back here. We'll see what happened. Um yeah, she's got it totally hung up on this telephone pole. Good thing she didn't knock this over. That's that's really a big concern. She must have felt it right away and stopped. Uh nice work. <laughs> Come on. Alright, let's see if I can fix this for her. Um this is a triple axle formation. This, or a tri not a triple axle, but a triple pin hitch formation. This thing is going to be a pain for me to uh, to back out of here and get straightened up. But I'll see what I can do. Oh, man. Like, come on. <laughs> You're supposed to be the professional. Oh, man. I hope I better get a cut. I better get uh, a break on our rental on or a purchase on this because this is ridiculous. I, don't, I hope I don't get dinged with any kind of costs on this either. Like, look at this. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. All right, so you can see the problem I'm having there. That bogey at the back. She's starting to twist on me. Get our lights back on here. All right. Let's see if I can get this thing fixed up for uh, for her. It's a straight drive from here. But I need to get past this corner, guys. And I'm blocking traffic. Not, not ideal. Okay, we're just going to swing out super wide. How far over can I get here? How far over? You can see the last, actually, Gertrude, or Matilda came across the grass there, too. All right, I'm going to go into the shrubbery here. Stop, stop, stop. All right, we should be able to now at least get it around here. Yeah, it's clear. I think it's clear. Come on. Go, go, go. There we go. As long as that bogey clears it, we should be good. Nice. All right, you, uh, you good now, Matilda? I hope you're all right. I hope you're, she looks like she's a little bit stunned in there. Um, oh, she just got, went, must have bent down to grab something down there. That was strange. Uh, I think she's good. I think she's all right. Let's head back on up to the front here. Uh, Gertrude, I think said she was all right. She just kind of hung out in the truck. Thanks for the help. <laughs> uh, let's go get going. We're going to get all the way back down to the shop. It's a bit of a trek still, but that's the hard part now. We're done the hard part. We can get out of here. The, those heavy wreckers go. And we can get back on the road. Not too far of a drive, at least. But uh, that was the tough part, for sure, was that last little bit there, folks. Straight drive down to the shop now. Man, let's just get these here. I don't need any more incidents. Hopefully, uh, hopefully no one's going to give me any problems with that damaged telephone pole. Oh, right. Look at these winding hills up ahead. Nice and easy. Like, nice and easy. We're gonna just going to take the whole road. We've got no traffic coming. Oh, that looks good. All right. Climb this hill. Hammer down. Hammer down. Are they coming? Yep, slowly but surely they're back there. Just coming to another intersection. I want to wait for everyone to catch back up there. Uh, we need to get across this as well. Now let's take her nice and easy through here once again. Oh man, it's so tough to get through these 90s. There's just not a lot of room for error there. All right, we're good to go. Let's keep on trucking. Hopefully they can all make it through just fine. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Let's go. So I took a look at the shop before we left to try and figure out what our best route to get in. And I've come to the conclusion that we need to go into the uh, the backside because it's just not as steep. It's it's a kind of an open gravel path on the rear side of it. Oh, I'm caught back up. Okay, good. Um, the front side, those hills that kind of go up to into the into the shop area, they're just way too steep, and I don't trust it. So I want to make sure that we take her nice and easy, allow everyone to get up those hills. These low beds, they tend to want to grab on anything. I think so. It's going to be a bit of an issue if I go up that front garage. Wow. Easy, easy there. Holy, she just came around that corner with <laughs> the hammer straight down. Um, so 
In order to get to the backside of, the, of this shop, I need to turn to right and go a little bit further south coming up here instead of going straight through. If I were to go straight up this road, we'd come right up onto our shop. But I think, like I said, that I want to come up the, uh, the rear side of it. It'll be a little bit easier, I think, to get into the shop. It's up on that little hillside, that's all. That's my main concern. So we're going to crank her over here. Uh, it's one extra turn, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's the way you got to play it sometimes. No one's coming. It's kind of quiet out this day middle of the week nothing's going on out here so oh yeah that is such a wide turn we got to make with that that is redonkulous all right everybody's coming perfect i like it all right do not hit that post again gertrude i'm not gonna be happy with you if you hit that thing again oh i almost hit the sign that would have been ironic i'm making fun of gertrude and i go and hit a sign man i think gertrude is really struggling back there that's all i can hear her is on the radio every time uh, I don't know how to work this. Why is my truck doing this? I don't know why Why I'm going over here. Look at her back there. She's hitting everything. Come on, Gertrude. Get back on the road. You're killing me. You're absolutely killing me. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> what is she doing? Some professional. Come on. I hired you for this job. <laughs> Luckily, our turn is right here. Uh, I can see the dirt road we got to take to get in the back side of our farm. I'm just trying to keep my eye on her because look at her. She's got two wheels in the ditch. What is she doing? Uh, all right. So from here on, at least there's no traffic. There's no other traffic laws we need to worry about. This is just dirt road driving for about a mile. And we'll be in. All right. Nice and easy. Up the hill we go. Looks like we're all good back there. Matt, she's going to destroy that combine. <laughs> uh, there's our shop right there. Perfect. I like it. All right, so again, it's starting to feel like dusk. It's about five o'clock right now, so uh, everyone's just heading home sure for work. But we'll just get this over to the shop, get these things unloaded, and uh, we'll get them out of here, get these trucks back. Oh man, that's uh, not a bad trip, but Gertrude was giving me some grief today. I'm not gonna lie. She was uh, she was a piece of work. Matilda, she was all good. I'll take Matilda any day, but Gertrude, man. All right, oh, this is gonna be interesting. Down the hill. Keep your speed up so you don't bottom out. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. All right. All the way down to the bottom. Oh, they might need some help down there. We'll have to give them a hand. I'm going to keep on climbing this hill, though. Then we got to go open that gate. I think they've all managed. Yeah, there we go. Matilda's just catching up right now. Perfect. Let's go through the gate. Up to the top. Come on. Get on up there. Excellent. All right. So I'm going to put these, I think. Let me think here. We've got the big wide open spot right in the middle. That'll be the, the most space we have to uh, unload everything right there. So I'm going to try and put those right as much as I can in that spot. Oh, get over there. Come on, up the hill. That should be the last little bit. You can see I'm losing traction there. You saw those tires spinning. Like I said, that's low, that low deck, she does give it a little bit of grief. If you hit, don't hit things quite right. It tends to grab on you. Nice and wide once again. See if we can pull in nice and quiet and simply straight. Oh, man. Uh, I think we're good. Whoa, that, that bogey was bouncing everywhere there. Let's see. I'm just going to put this uh, right over here on the left. <laughs> nice. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. We're safe and sound. Gertrude, um, I'm a little concerned about. I don't know if she's having a mental breakdown or what's going on back there, but... She made it. The 8240 is here. That's all that matters. I was pretty worried about her for a bit there, folks. That was not good driving. <laughs> I can't even take the blame for that. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to unload all these. We'll set them up. Uh, they got the headers coming out tomorrow. So we'll get the headers placed someplace. Got a couple options for headers as well, of course. But everything else is looking pretty good. Oh, man. Nice looking combines. I mean, what do we got? About 1.5 mil here, roughly? Yeah, that's a, that's a few bucks. Um... Yeah, hopefully we can sell these things pretty quick here and make it some profit off this uh, this dealership. Looking good. We got a lot of equipment coming in, folks. I don't know what else we need to get here. We've got uh, we got obviously tractors. We've got some seed carts. We've got some plows, cultivators, our combines. Now I'm not sure what else we're gonna need to get, but uh, if, we, if there's something else that I can think of, we may have to put it here. But I think we're pretty ready and ready to go for for our stock. I mean, we got a ton of equipment out here. Look at all the tractors. So, we'll get these combines set up, we'll get them unloaded, and we'll uh, we'll send these trucks back off. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for us today from Clover Creek at our case dealership. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you guys know what to do there. Drop that like, give it a slapperoo, and don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. 
And folks, I will catch you next time. This is Glutch. Over and out. Over and out.